Hi everyone, it's Cyril or Lovely Day here with another video. Today's DIY is somewhat overdue. In case you haven't seen it before or are curious as to where I got it, this is my doll's wardrobe. Fun fact, it's actually a medicine cabinet, so nothing all that fancy really. I secured a small PVC pipe at the top to use as a runner for coat hangers. Speaking of, although I'm sure you've seen the title, that's what we're going to be making today. This here is the contraption I use to make my coat hangers. It makes this easy craft a whole lot easier, so I'll start off by showing you how I made it. The grey material is foam cut from a floor mat, just like the stuff you see here. Anything with reasonable thickness will work though, it doesn't have to be foam. By placing a finished coat hanger over the contraption, you can probably get an idea of how it works. So the first thing you'll need to do is figure out how big your hanger needs to be. To do this, I look at an item of clothing that is a reasonable representation of what I'll be using the hangers for. You want the hanger to be wide enough that the clothing won't fall off, but not too wide that it won't fit inside the neck hole. I mark what will be the outer edges of the hanger on the foam, followed by what will be the hook at the top. I make indents in the foam to get an idea of what the final hanger shape will look like to make sure I'm happy with the placement before moving on to the next step. Next we need to prepare the pipe. I used this PVC pipe I had spare from an old cosplay. It's the exact same stuff I used to make the runner in the wardrobe, which is important if we want to make sure the hangers will work. Using the pipe, I push and twist holes into the foam. This works really well and is so much easier than trying to cut holes by hand. After the holes are ready, you need to saw the pipe into pieces to insert into the foam. I'm not going to do that though, since this pipe is actually the runner from my wardrobe. So you'll have to use your imagination here. It really doesn't matter how long they are, as long as they stick out. Once they're cut, secure them in the holes with hot glue. The last thing you'll want to do is make a template for the inner triangle of the hanger. I sketch a shape that looks close enough, cut it out and then trim to size. Once that's sorted, it too needs to be glued onto the base piece. Again, <laughs> imagination. Here's one I prepared earlier. Let's get on to making the actual hangers. The wire I use is craft wire. I like it because it's soft and I can bend it with my hands. Other wire would work too, but the heavier the wire, the more likely that you're going to need additional tools. So we're going to make a hanger just like this, starting with the hook and working our way around. To make sure the end of the hook isn't pointy and stabby, I bend it around into as small of a loop as possible. This has the potential to be a little hard on the fingers, 
But as far as wire goes, this stuff is pretty soft so it's not too hard to manage. Once you've got the little loop, the contraption we made pretty much does the rest of the work for us. Starting with the hook, we wrap the wire over, down, and around. Once you cross back over the centre, carefully remove the hanger from the contraption. Next is the trickiest part. You need to wrap the wire around the centre. I like to do it twice. Tools would make this easier, but I don't have time for that. At the end of the final loop, you need to cut off the wire you don't need as close to the loop as possible. Since this wire is pretty soft, I can get away with using scissors, but I'd recommend wire cutters if you have them. Push in any stabby bits, and you're done. See, I told you it was easy. In case that was too quick though, let's make another one. If your hanger looks a little wonky after twisting, just pop it back onto the contraption to get it back into shape. Some clothing items might require special treatment so that they don't slide off the hangers. In these cases, the solution is as simple as bending the hanger so it has some dips in the top. Anyway though, that really is all there is to it. Remember though, as great as it is, you really don't need a contraption to make these hangers. With a little bit more time and effort, you can achieve the same result. However, if you want to make hangers that are a consistent size, then some sort of template is definitely the way to go. It was about time I got around to making more hangers. My doll clothes have been in a bit of disarray recently and could honestly do with an organization overhaul. But that's a task for another day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what you think. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you joined me here. I upload a new video every weekend. And if by some chance you're not sick of me yet, come visit me on Twitch. If you're watching this video soon after it comes out, chances are I'm live right now. Thank you so much for watching, it has been lovely, and I'll catch you in another video sometime soon.